hello my little sapphires and welcome to my latest youtube video um i'm really aware that today's video might bring in um a few new people so just so you just so you know who i am my name is nadia sapphire i'm a professional wrestler from cardiff wales i'm also an influencer and a content creator um i want to basically use my platform to do things which I actually am passionate about now, like not just wrestling. I just want to talk about things that I'm actually passionate about and, I, and what I believe in. And today's is dedicated to my beautiful doggy, Nala. Nala, come here, come say hi. Is it a toy? She loves this toy. Nala, come say hi. Come say hi. <laughs> That's Nala. So, Nala, come into the camera, honey. There she is. There she is. I say there she is. Nala is actually a hermaphrodite. So that basically means that Nala is half boy and half girl. She was born with female and male genitals. Um, we adopted her back in June. We're now um, at the end of October. So we've had her about four months or so. Um, obviously we've learned a hell of a lot about her, not just about hermaphrodites, but about French bulldogs as well, because I've always had bigger dogs. She's my first small dog, but I've always loved the breed. Um, so like my first thing was to go onto YouTube and basically find out about French bulldogs before I had her. I'm the sort of person that I always want the dog, which no one wants. Um, before Nala, I tried adopting a one-eyed French bulldog, but someone else had taken her. And um, yeah, just the dog, which no one else wants really. Um, so Nala's story, Nala, uh, we adopted her for many tears, which is a rescue centre in Wales. I will literally link their um, details down below if you do want to donate to them or if you mm -hmm. want to rescue your own dog and your local, please consider Many Tears. They've got so many dogs. They've got loads of puppies. They've got older dogs, they've got big dogs, little dogs, so many different dogs. Um, so yeah, Nala, Nala say hello. Oh, there she is. She's so heavy now. She was actually so 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 small when we had her she was like so skinny like we're like she was just like malnourished and honestly she's gained so much weight now we took her to the vet as soon as we got her and he's like yeah your dog's so underweight but now she's overweight like she is a little fatty now aren't you boo boo show them show them how much weight you've gained <laughs> this is how much weight nana's gained she doesn't want to get stand up oh, baby oh, she wants her toy here you go that's her toy, that's her favourite toy. She loves this, like literally, this is the third one of this actual toy I've brought her from B&M Bargains. It's like four pounds. Um, all of her other toys, she doesn't bother, but this one she does, but she always ends up breaking in here. And I have to buy her another toy then. So yeah, she's happy. Um, my other dog Sabre's downstairs. If you've seen my previous videos, you would have seen Sabre loads because um, she's 13 now and I've had her for that long. I love Sabre to bits. She is my baby girl, but she's probably resting. She's an old woman. She just likes to sort of stay in one place and relax and likes to have her walk and that's it. So yeah, so basically, um, Nala actually came from a breeder originally. So many tears takes on the dogs that the breeders don't want to basically stop the dogs from getting put down or to stop them from being abandoned and put on the streets or to stop them from going to awful people. So um, I'm guessing what happened is the person that breeds French Bulldogs couldn't sell Nala because she was a hermaphrodite and obviously Nala can't have pups and Nala obviously can't give pups. You can actually see behind there, if you see that little pink thing, that's actually her willy coming out of her vagina. So it's like the other way around. Cause like with male dogs, they usually like there, aren't they? But hers is at the back of her. So yeah, she can't do anything, bless her. She's so confused as well. She literally tries to hump dogs down the park and there's nothing there to hump the dogs with. And yeah, I'll get into that in a bit. She's so confused, bless her. The breeder clearly couldn't sell her or couldn't make money off of her, couldn't breed her. So didn't want her basically. So her first year of her life, she was just basically there. Like, she, like when we had her, she wasn't toilet trained at all. Um, even now she still has accidents. Um, Cause it's so hard to toilet train a dog that's one and a half years old. Cause she was 18 months old when we got her. 
it's so hard to toilet train a dog because obviously they um they, they, they were already stuck in their ways and then what she was doing was um she was eating her poo as well then to try and cover it up so I'm not sure what happened to her before we had her. I'm guessing she was probably just in a cage. And um, yeah, because she literally, she'll go out, right? And she'll go for a walk. And honestly, it's so cute. She literally, she'll look at all these cars and she stops at red cars and she just stares at them. The other day walking past a shop and there was like um, a little mannequin bunny thing and she was just staring at it, trying to play with it as if it was real. Like, it's literally like a child on their first day out. That's what she's like. Like, it's as if like she hasn't experienced any of this. She absolutely loves other dogs. She just goes straight up to them, but it's to the extent where a few dogs have actually gone for her because she is very intrusive. Um, she sort of like, if a dog sort of says to her like, you know, go away, like a dog might growl, which means go away. She still stays there. She still chases them. And um, yeah, so she, yeah, so she is very intrusive. Um, I'm going to be looking into training for her. She's actually allergic to anaesthetic as well. So um, when they, when she went to Many Tears um, Rescue Centre, when they tried to basically um, find out, like, you know, a bit more about her, they had to bring her around because she nearly died. So we never knew whether she'd come into season or what. So we had her in June, and that was, like, the end of October. So June, July, August, September, October. She's had about four and a half months. And over the last six weeks, she's started humping dogs. But before that, she wasn't. So I think maybe this is her type of season thing, but I'm not sure what, because obviously she's a boy and a girl. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's honestly, it's so confusing and it's so challenging. Um, I don't even know like what type of vibe she gives off to other dogs. Like maybe some dogs might not like, like her because they can't tell whether she's male or female. My um, older dog Sabre absolutely loves her though. Like they catch and everything like yeah she literally loves her but it is crazy having a hermaphrodite dog i'd like to find more people who have hermaphrodite dogs so if anyone's watching and, and you know someone or you've got a hermaphrodite dog please comment below because i'd love to just like know a lot more about it and what people have experienced but she is amazing. She literally sleeps on this bed every night, but she stinks. She does stink. So I probably stink too, but I haven't got the heart to tell her to get down. So she sleeps with me every night. And yeah, she just so could she. Hey, you Nala. 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 She's lush, honestly. Like, she is my baby girl. I would never get rid of her. I didn't even finish the story. So when she went to Many Tears, someone did adopt her. And after one day, they brought her back and they basically said that she was too needy. That's why they brought her back. And I'm thinking, needy? This dog has obviously just not had love and she just wants affection. Like, she's the type of dog, like, she just likes to sit on people's laps and have kitches all the time. Like, I don't feel like that is needy. I think it's lovely when a dog just gives affection, especially like, when I'm not feeling great. Nala will just come and catch me. And um, yeah, she's amazing. I love her to bits. I love you to bits. Oh, and you love this toy to bits. <laughs> she's so funny. Yeah, I feel like I'm turning into that dog lady. Like, all my friends, like, I'm just, literally, when I talk to them, I just talk about my dogs. And when I'm in the pub and I'm talking to boys, I just talk about my dogs. And I'm like, yeah, I got a hermaphrodite. And then I got a 13-year-old American bully. And I'm just there saying how amazing my dogs are. And when I go on dates with guys, I'm like, right, my dogs need to like you. And you need to be able to walk the dogs with me and stuff like that. I am literally turning into a dog lady. I really want to adopt another dog. But um, my mother's living with me at the moment and she basically um, does like all the cleaning and everything. That's the arrangement we got. And she's like, no, I can't deal with another dog, but I'd love to adopt another dog. Um, 
I obviously, I know that not everyone can adopt dogs. I know that a lot of people say that adoption centers are quite picky and stuff like that. Um, I feel like obviously like they need to be for the dog's welfare, like, and to do what's best for the dog, if that makes sense. And also like, you know, there's some dogs that need to be on their own or not with another dog, uh, sorry, or with another dog, or there's some dogs that can't be with children and stuff like that. Um, like when Many Tears came out, like they, um, checked our garden and everything to make sure it was all suitable so they do have to put that dog's welfare like like they do have to check that dog's welfare oh my god what's my dog doing she presses buttons on my phone as well um yeah so you do have to obviously take that dog's welfare into consideration but honestly like if you are going to get a dog i'd really recommend um trying to adopt first i know a lot of people assume that if a dog comes from a home the dog could be vicious or damaged but they're not we've adopted so many dogs over the years our boxer dog floyd um my mum was working in a vets and um he used to come in the vets all the time and that family couldn't have him no more oh saber this saber this is saber saber's 13 we did have saber from a pet but basically my brother's girlfriend brought her uh, brought her for him brought him home and I was like oh my god you brought a dog home and yeah literally um we've had her ever since she's amazing she's 13 um yeah she's so so good on you such a good girl she does have a lot of anxiety I will do a video on Saber soon so Floyd um we obviously took him in and then he died at about 12 and a half and then we adopted another dog years ago before Saber was born um called Bella she was a half greyhound half alsatian she was amazing honestly such a lovely dog um yeah so i would always adopt now i just feel like there's so many beautiful lovely dogs who need a home and when i say beautiful not even beautiful on the outside on the inside as well say so, but look at your little bow your little bows yeah i put both in pink bows but yeah there's so many dogs who need homes and honestly dogs are so loyal like i think like the person who feeds them and who walks them they're loyal to so once you give a dog a home honestly you won't regret it um and that's why like the adoption process is there it's finding a dog that's suitable for you because obviously like you know if there is a dog that is potentially like you know maybe a little bit more aggressive it'd be on the dog's foot like like on the dog's um bio if that makes sense so we'd be there but majority of them like they just want they just want love and they just want to be fed like saber she's 13 now and honestly if we're down the park if a person just tries to come up to her she'll bark she's never bit anyone in her life but because she's like an american bully i think she's got a bit of cross in her as well she looks like she could be like a staffy or pit bull i don't know what she is look at all the hair <laughs> you're hearing um but yeah like basically um her bark sounds worse than what she is like she's never like she'll just jump up and bark and obviously because she's a big dog it is it is scary but she's not vicious whatsoever but she gets a lot of anxiety i'm really not looking forward to bonfire nights because even the week leading up to it and the week after saber is just an anxious mess so we're gonna try and build a den so if you would like more videos on my dogs and you'd like to know more about them please comment below any questions you got about my dogs comment below and i'll put in the video i feel like it'd just be nice to do like more videos about my dogs and about dogs in general and just encouraging more people to adopt if they can and just showing people how amazing adopting a dog can be instead of just buying a puppy so uh yeah anyway all of my usual links are below my social media my content pages um if you want to buy like my wrestling matches and stuff like that my merchandise it's all below so the links are below if this is your first time watching please subscribe because i really want to do more of these videos take care